For this SOP, I'm going to be doing the cardiac auscultation on a canine patient. Taking my stethoscope, I'm going to go ahead and place it in my ears with the angle of the earpieces facing away from me. A good way to check and make sure that this is on appropriately is just to gently tap and I can hear everything great. For the sake of this video so I can hear everything else, I'm going to place this around my neck. So um, with our patient, we can actually go ahead and locate the heart by using the point of the elbow as a point of reference. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place my hand on the left side and I'm going to um, feel for the cardiac impulse. So her heart is very strong. I can um, feel that very well. So this is going to help us find a good location to start listening to the heart. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start with our pulmonic valve. So again, we're going to be working on the left side for the first three valves. So taking my stethoscope, I'm going to go ahead and place that uh, right at, between the second and fourth interco intercostal spaces. And we're going to be just above the sternum here. And I'm going to go ahead and listen to ten, for 10 to 20 seconds um, to hear uh, hopefully, hopefully normal uh, cardiac sounds, but also listen out for anything abnormal. Next, uh, just dorsal caudal to this, we're going to now move uh, to the fourth intercostal space and we're going to be listening for the aortic valve, which is also on the left side. And again, we're going to be listening for 10 to 20 seconds for any um, abnormal cardiac sounds. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and move caudal to the aortic valve and just caudal to the aortic valve at the fifth intercostal space, we can find the mitral valve. So here we're going to listen for 10 to 20 seconds for um, our cardiac sounds and listen out for anything abnormal. So now the next valve that we're going to be um, listening to is going to actually be on the right side of the patient. So I'm just going to switch her around here. So that's going to be our tricuspid valve. So we can find the tricuspid valve um, at the between the third and fifth intercostal space on the right side and it's going to be near the um, costochondral junction. So I'm going to go ahead and place my stethoscope there. And again, we're going to listen for 10 to 20 seconds for our normal heart sounds or anything abnormal. And uh, finally, as we are taking these uh, values, we can do this for about 15 seconds and multiply by four to get an appropriate um, uh, So as we, are listening, as we are listening with our stethoscope, we can usually take about a 15 second interval and then multiply that by four to get the appropriate beats per minute. And then as we are listening, um, usually, <clears throat> so as you're taking the readings for um, At each of the different um, valve locations, you are going to listen for about 15 seconds, and you can then multiply um, the value that you get by 4 to get a beats per minute um, value. And also, as we are going to be listening to uh, the valves, we can take ephemeral pulse to ensure that what we are hearing corresponds to what we are physically feeling as well. Okay, you're free to go. Thank you for your service, diaper girl.